So I'm getting my hair cut today and um, I've been very particular about my hair since I was a kid. It got to the point where I started cutting my own hair and um, that, that takes about like two hours, like a long time. But um, this weekend I've got a wedding and uh, might as well get some, some clean cuts, you know. But first, coffee. Have to this, so back to my haircut. Um, because I've been cutting my hair for so long, I actually I've never gone to a barber. I actually don't know what I want and uh, how how to talk to the barber. So um, we'll see how it goes. That went pretty well. New barber, new style. Um, looking, looking pretty good. All right, so um, I don't know how my parents are gonna react to to this style because um, I've been used to having it like like this one. But uh, let's ask uh, let's ask someone's opinion. Red, what do you think of my hairstyle? Your hairstyle is amazing. I actually think it fits your personality. Uh, by the way, this guy's hella creative. Super smart, <laughs> extremely brilliant, and I just felt like the whole uh, Asian fro, the Asian fro, was super dope. But it wasn't edgy enough for my man, who's like uh, somebody who's like really out here living on the edge and super spiritual. So to see him shave it up, get a little risky, get a little frisky, and uh, take that cut, and also challenge the culture of his family just to see their response. <laughs> I'm interested to see what this video is going to look like. So, I think it's dope. I think he parsed the boundaries a little bit, and I think he's trying to find that balance as he finds that new style and sense of self. That's my guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, so that was my mate and, uh, and business partner, Fred. Uh, you should uh, check out his, his website, mm -hmm. racingdifferent.com. Just whatever's down here, probably in the description as well. All right, I'm gonna start heading out. My so, uh, brother from another. My brother from another. Elevation going down. Story time. This is like yet another story about me getting overconfident with something and um, accidentally fucking up. So it's been about a month since I got my one wheel. I've grown pretty confident with it, but the thing is exactly one month after I started riding, um, I stacked it. And um, it, was, it was a pretty heavy one. Like as you can see, this is, this is about a week ago, but like this has healed tremendously. And um, like luckily it wasn't that bad because I've got a wedding in three days. And so like, if I had a mad scar, it, it would, it, my parents would absolutely be not impressed. So the way I stacked it was um, basically either me over leaning and like, like drawing too much power into the one wheel or like speeding up too fast and the motor disengaged and I, I nosedived into, into the ground. I was slightly concussed during that whole, like right after it. And uh, it, it wasn't, it was not an enjoyable experience, you know? Like I busted my fingers while I was at it. I think my knuckles went onto the ground and my fingers were bent back and it was, it was not enjoyable. Like my hands right now are like starting to heal. So moral of the story, stay, stay safe kids. Uh, wear a helmet, but like, 
right, like, even though like right now I'm not I'm not wearing a helmet when I'm riding, which which I would not recommend. But um, yeah, stay safe. So this is what my hair looks like now. It's all clean and slicked back. I actually really like it. Um, comment if you guys like this hair this way or not, or if you guys liked it the old way. But yeah, um, let's see how my dad will like it. Dad, do you like my hair? <laughs> so that's the verdict. And um, I guess this is the end of the video. If you guys liked it, hit that like icon um i don't know subscribe follow my instagram hit that bell icon up I, I still don't know how to finish these but um i'll see you guys in the next one peace